This chart actually blew my mind. It's on carotenoids, which are a very important type of antioxidants and really the absorption with and without fat eaten at the same time. And like, wow, you are seriously missing out on those carotenoids if you're not just eating a tiny bit of fat with those carotenoids. And we're talking about canola oil here in this study, which I know is gonna trigger people's seed oils, blah, blah, blah. But they fed people a salad and they had that flat line of no added fat, zero grams. And then they added six grams of canola oil, which, no, not too much. And we saw a nice spike there. But then when they added 28 grams or about two tablespoons of canola oil, we saw a more rounded out peak of carotenoid absorption. But the good news is that it doesn't have to be a refined oil. They've also done studies like this looking at avocado consumption and carotenoids. And in this case, pairing carrots and avocados increase the carotenoid absorption from those carrots by 12 times. And also tomatoes that have lycopene increased by four times. And yeah, carotenoids, especially from Whole Foods, are extremely healthy. They, of course, increase your antioxidant status, lower your disease fueling free radicals, as well as help with eye health, heart health, even prostate health, lower prostate risk with more lycopene. And this makes me think that this is a reason not to be super gung-ho low fat and that you might lose out on some absorption, though you don't need much fat, but also that you don't want to go gung-ho fat with this. For example, carotenoids as a justification for slamming down saturated fat, which could compromise heart health risk. That's not necessarily logical. Anyway, carotenoids absorbed by fat. It's great. Now you know.